NetSupport School's audio monitoring allows the instructor to monitor audio activity on all the students' machines, and the instructor is automatically alerted to any microphone or speaker headphone activity at the student. You can select students to listen to the audio being played on their devices, and you can record and play that audio back to students. So for example, I have these indicators here on the screens, letting us know if the volume or the microphone is being used. If I hover over James, I can see that he's watching and listening to 20 minutes of adorable kittens. However, if I go to Matt, there's no audio being played and no microphone activity occurring on his device. So I know who's active and who's inactive in my class when it comes to the audio or having the volume turned on or off. If they are listening to something and I need to quiet that down, I can mute the sound of the student or I can go in and I can adjust their volume. So I can actually give them a maximum student volume where they can't go above a certain level or I can bring their volume down just to nudge them to quiet it down a bit, especially if they have that music blaring with their headphones and people can hear it outside of what they're listening to. What you can also do is you can listen to students, which makes this a great tool for language labs and learning second languages or other activities where you might be recording audio, such as podcasting, videos, or other content creation students might be working on for the class. I can choose a student and select listen, so I can hear what's going on on their device. Then I can record what's happening, I can record for any length of time, whether they're doing a practice activity for a few seconds or for a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let that run. Down below I can see it's recording James and I can see how long that recording has been going on. So I'm going to allow that to go for about 20 seconds and then stop the recording. I'm still listening to James, so I've been listening for this long, but the recording is over. And now the recording is available in my recordings file. So I can actually share that recording with James. I can call him up to my desk and walk him through what I heard and my feedback or suggestions. I can correct pronunciation, or I can help him figure out how to better say what he was working on saying for the podcast or the content that he's creating. The Audio Language Live feature is an excellent tool for any age level, especially if you want students working from headphones so they're not distracting the class, but you want to be able to still listen in and hear what they're doing without having to hover over their shoulders.